All right. So here it goes. How many holes does a human have? The answer is going to surprise you. This is all clip art, by the way. I put very little effort into this presentation. So in this presentation, we're going to be covering an introduction to the concepts of topology, the definition of what a hole is, uh, the inside of the human body, an analysis of bodily holes, and are you gay? Um, introduction to topology. Um, so topology is the study of shapes and how they interact in d-dimensional space, d being any number of dimensions. Um, so topology specifically is concerned with what properties a shape has if you were to contort it in ways that follow a certain amount of rule, rule sets. Okay, what was the last point? Um, analysis of bodily holes. Um, so... Uh, you notice the diagram on the right here. Uh, these are just uh, certain two-dimensional spheres or two-dimensional torus. They use they they always have like a different system of like what they classify as a dimension. So the 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 first dimension is zero, and the second dimension is one, and the third dimension is two, and so on. They call those cycles. Um, so the rules that we're gonna follow um, are called the rules of homeomorphic shapes. Um, you are allowed to stretch, shrink, uh, stretch, shrink, bend, and uh, contort, twist any way that you want one shape into another shape. However, you are not allowed to cut or glue together parts of the same shape. So, for example, for this mug here, for this mug here, you can see that there is a hole in it, and homeomorphically, it is the same as a donut. Even though it doesn't look like a donut right now, if you were to stretch and contort it without cutting or, or gluing, then it becomes the same exact shape as a torus. And it's this concept that we're going to use to, just, to define the amount of holes that a human has. Um, for example, um, if you have a circle, you could stretch the circle into a square. That means that a circle and a square are homeomorphic and have the same properties. However, you are not allowed to punch a hole into a square because if you do, then you change the properties of that shape and they are no longer homeomorphic. So what is a hole? Uh, on the right, you have a uh, this is a, a screenshot from uh, one of my Twitter conversations. I got in a very heated argument about whether or not a hole, uh, it, whether or not a cup has a hole. So... Um, I, I looked up the answer, and it turns out that a math professor at the University of Florida, where I am right now, wrote an article on Forbes.com about the argument of does a straw have a hole? And he is a professor, uh, a math professor specializing in topology, so I figured that he would have the best answer. And at the end of the article, it said, follow me on Twitter. So guess what I did? I followed him on Twitter, and he gave us a very concise and accurate mathematical definition of a hole, which is that a hole is a d-dimensional ob geometric object that cannot be filled by a d plus one dimensional object and i know that sounds really funky if you're not a math uh if you're not a math brain person the whole d plus one dimensional object is going to uh not sit with your brain well but think about it like this imagine you have a hula hoop and then you, you like you have a giant hula hoop and then you imagine pouring beer into it like the beer is just going to fall straight through the hole. It's not going to be able to be filled because the beer is three dimensional, but the uh, hula hoop is only uh, two dimensional. So the hole in the hula hoop cannot be filled by a three dimensional liquid. However, if you have a cup that does not have a handle, if you have just a plain cup, then a cup could be filled with the liquid and create a solid cylinder, which means that this cup does not have a hole. So let's do some exercises. Um, to start off, how many holes does a straw have? Put your answers in chat. All right, so it seems like a lot of people are getting to the, getting to the right uh, mindset 
right? I introduce what constitutes a whole. So a lot of people are saying one, which is the correct answer. And if you guys don't get that, stay with me. Um, we start out with the straw. And if we shrink down the straw into basically two dimensions, the closest we can get to a new shape is a circle. It is impossible to change the fact that there is a hole inside the tube. So we know that it has at least one hole. But since we can shrink it down to the size of a circle, it's very clear that a circle has one hole. Now, what about a V-shaped straw like this? What if we have a straw and then we fuse, we just kind of weld a another tube to have another opening on the side of it. How many holes is this going to have? Put your answers in chat. Oh, see, this one's this one's a lot more controversial. Now we have threes. Now we have twos and people are still saying one. So I'm curious to see uh, why people are still saying one. How come you still think that's, that this is one whole? I just like pressing one. Obnoticus has the only correct answer. By the way, I need to change my thing. I'm doing IRL. Um, talk shows and podcasts. All right, that's what we're going with. All right. Um. Just chatting is a new IRL. Well, this is technically a talk show now because I'm talking with you guys, huh? As many holes as you want. You can fill it if the fluid is viscid enough to both answers are zero. Mm, no, not necessarily. Definitely two. Okay, so we got a big range of answers, but if you shrink down this shape here, into the very bare minimum then what you're going to have is a figure eight which is kind of hard to imagine but a better way to imagine it is imagine that you just simply have a straw but the one tube on the side creates a hole in the side so then we've already established that the straw has one hole and then the straw itself has a hole in the side so that means that it will have two holes. So clearly a V-shaped straw has two holes. Now you can kind of see where I'm going here to introduce the concept of how many holes a human being is going to have. Yo, thank you, Obnoticus. So let's imagine that we have a straw that is V-shaped, but has a lot of V's. It's got a lot. It's kind of all over the place. No one really knows how many how many things this is going to have. So. It's just a spine, not a whole body. Well, it's a straw with a bunch of tiny straws on it. So. We can count the number of extra extraneous holes by just counting up the amount of the things on the side. So one, like you know, with my mouse pointer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if a straw has one hole and there's seven extra holes, that means that this whole object is going to have eight holes. And we can even establish our own little cheat sheet formula that the number of holes is simply the number of total openings of an object minus one because there's one opening here there's one opening here one one two three four five six seven eight nine and if you subtract one because technically you still have a hole here then 
that will be the total number of holes, topologically speaking. This is all just based on mathematics, not based on the linguistic definition of what a hole is. Let's, let's continue on. So we went over the topology, and now we are going to go into the digestive system, uh, or more importantly, all of the holes in the human body. And for simplification, as I've been saying before, uh, just to make this argument much simpler than it needs to be, I'm going to ignore the the cardiovascular system, all the veins and the, and the capillaries and the arteries and the heart and the internal organs and the pores and the skin, they are way too complicated to make any rational argument whole. Um, so things like the atriums in the heart or the opening of the pancreas that puts out, I don't know, fucking insulin or whatever pancreases do, uh, those are not going to count. We are only going to count the extremity holes. So these are the possible holes that are going to be covered here. There are no other openings in the human body that could be considered. Um, unless you go into the possibility that you have a stab wound or if you're shot or if you otherwise uh, count the pores of the things in there. So we have the mouth, the nose, the ears, the eyes, the urethra, the vagina, the anus, and the belly button. Oh, I did not count the nipples, but they you it'll it'll not it won't uh it won't uh, come up later from from my arguments. So so uh, the mouth and the anus are possibly the most easy to see hole in the human body. Um, the mouth is connected extremely directly to the anus through the digestive tract. So the food will go in the mouth and it goes through the stomach and through the large intestine, which if you stretch all the way out is going to basically be one large straw. And as we uh, established before, a straw has one hole. So this brings our total hole count to one. Next up, we're gonna talk about the belly button because the belly button is quite possibly the most common not hole in the body people think that oh the belly button's kind of a hole not really you can fill it full of liquid and uh if you think about it if you were to squish it all the way out into the the stomach it would just roll flush so it doesn't necessarily um count um the picture is just an unrelated image of some anime lady and she has a belly button right there okay so our whole count is still one um, the nose, this is where we're going to start getting interesting. So uh, the nose has two nostrils and the two nostrils are separated um, and the nostrils are connected to the mouth. And since we already established that the mouth is a straw shape with the anus, then this means that the nose is going to add two more holes to our system. So now our total hole count is three. And now we're going to get to the ears. And the ears is pretty hotly contested because people don't remember that the ears are connected to the mouth via the eustachian tubes. The eustachian tubes go directly to the back of the throat and they are indeed connected to the mouth via the eustachian tube. So they are a part of the system just as much as the ears are, as the nose is. So this brings our total whole count to five. Now here is where I made a critical error. The eyes add one hole. And I didn't think about this before. But here's the argument. The eyes are not a solid socket. If the, if the eyes were a solid socket, then they would indeed not make a hole because you could squish it out into the shape of a sphere. However, in the back of the eye, there is a hole for the optic nerve. And the skull, you can see here, the skull has holes in the back so that the optic nerve can penetrate the skull and go into the cranial cavity. So since these two holes in your, in your eyes are connected 
via the entire cranial cavity, this creates its own little straw shape and thus will add one hole to the system. So now, our total hole count is six. And quite finally, the urethra and the vagina do not complete a hole because they are similar to the belly button. Obviously, as I mentioned before, you could fill them with liquid. That's how you pee. Um, the vagina ends at the egg boys too. It is a closed system, so the vagina and the urethra do not count as a hole. So our hole count is still six. So our final count, despite my best efforts in creating a fair Twitter poll, the final count ends up being six. None of the answers were correct. And this is something that I only figured out as I was discussing how, how the eyes work. So the final answer is six. A human being has six holes topologically. And I lied. But more importantly, nobody on Twitter said that there were six. And a lot of people on Twitter said that there were seven or eight, depending on if you are male or female. Which brings me to my final point. Wait, you may say. You may say, wait. I thought that women had more holes than men did. I was under the impression that the women, that woman has a vagina and a urethra, whereas a man only has a urethra. This doesn't make any sense, Tones. Well, given the fact that neither the urinary tracts nor the vagina count as a topological hole, men and women actually have the same amount of holes. Therefore, thank you for listening to my presentation. And that's it. <laughs>